Description of the issue. Recently, my 2020 M1 MacBook Air started experiencing a strange issue. After being in sleep mode for an extended period, the keyboard and trackpad would stop responding completely. However, if I connected a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, they worked just fine. Restarting the Mac temporarily fixed the issue, but after going into sleep mode again, the same problem would occur. After doing some research online, I found that many users were facing the same issue. Through trial and error, I was able to fix the problem. Here's a summary of what I did, troubleshooting process. Initial investigation. I first wanted to see if others had faced a similar issue and how they resolved it. I found a popular video from iFixit on YouTube that mentioned the issue might be caused by a faulty trackpad cable, which could burn out over time. So, I ordered the same cable and replaced it. Initially, the problem seemed to be solved, but the next day, the issue reappeared. Based on this, I came up with two possible explanations, the issue might not be related to the cable. A design flaw on the motherboard might be causing the cable to burn out again. After further analysis, I leaned toward the first explanation because if the cable was truly burned out, restarting the system wouldn't temporarily fix the problem. Software Investigation Next, I checked if the issue was software-related. I logged into the guest account and put the Mac into deep sleep, then tested multiple times to see if the issue reoccurred. If the problem didn't happen in the guest account but did in my regular account, it could indicate a software conflict. A clean system reinstall might resolve it. If the issue still occurred in the guest account, then it was likely not a software problem and further investigation was needed. Result After several attempts, I found that the issue still occurred in the guest account, which ruled out third-party software as the cause. However, the fact that the problem temporarily resolved after restarting suggested it was unlikely to be a serious hardware failure. Finally, I decided to try the following steps. After testing for two weeks, the issue was completely resolved, and now I'm sharing my experience with you. Solution Use Time Machine to back up your entire system. Shut down your Mac, then hold the power button to enter startup options, and select Disk Utility. It's crucial to open Disk Utility from startup options, otherwise, you won't be able to properly erase the disk. Completely erase the macOS system disk using Disk Utility. From the main menu, choose Reinstall macOS. This will guide you through the process of reinstalling macOS. Make sure your Mac is connected to the internet, as it will need to download the macOS installation files. Once macOS is reinstalled, the issue should be resolved. After installation, use Migration Assistant to restore your system from the Time Machine backup. Final Thoughts Some users reported that even after reinstalling the system, the issue persisted, and the only solution was sending the Mac to Apple for repairs. In these cases, Apple replaced the motherboard and trackpad to fix the problem. Based on this, I believe the issue isn't purely software-related. Apple engineers likely replaced the components because the issue was hard to diagnose and intermittent. However, the problem also doesn't seem to be fully hardware-related, since the system can temporarily work after a reboot. I believe the core issue is a firmware read-slash-write error. When the Mac enters sleep mode, it triggers a firmware error, and the only way to fix it is by fully erasing the system disk and reinstalling macOS. This process refreshes the firmware. Some users who reinstalled macOS without completely erasing the SSD may not have resolved the issue because the firmware wasn't properly refreshed. This video outlines how I fixed the issue, but why the firmware read-slash-write error occurs remains unclear. Do you think my analysis makes sense? If you followed the steps, did it resolve your issue? Feel free to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Thank you for watching.